tonight in a story we have been following for days. Outridge in Warwick over dogs kept out in sub-zero wind chills. Investigators have looked at the situation and drawn conclusions, but that did nothing to stop a group of demonstrators from coming out today. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima has the details that are new tonight. Dozens of people stood out in the cold protesting a loophole in a state law that's aimed at keeping animals safe. Just because it's legal doesn't mean it's right. Protesters holding signs like this one lined Tollgate Road Sunday outside this house. It's here that six pit bulls were found chained outside in the brutal cold. There's nothing else we can do. We're doing every possible thing we can possibly do. The Rhode Island Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals investigated and found the owner wasn't breaking any laws. The pit bulls had access to these insulated shelters and clean water. Now he states that they have adequate shelter because they have hay in a wooden box. That's not adequate shelter. Do you know how fast the water freezes? Do they have adequate water or do they just have ice in their bowls? The owner told investigators and the SPCA that he's moving the dogs indoors. But now the situation is raising questions and concerns about state laws put in place to protect animals. The law is absolutely ludicrous. No dog should be kept out in these temperatures. It's against state law to keep a dog tethered outside for more than 10 hours a day or when the temperature becomes unsafe. The law has a loophole. A loophole in the form of several exemptions, including for dogs being raised or trained for hunting. And the SPCA says the owner of the pit bulls is raising the dogs for hunting purposes. We need to get this law changed. The law is protecting this man. Eyewitness News spoke to State Representative Patricia Serpa, who says she was contacted by several concerned citizens. She tells us she plans on introducing legislation, removing these exemptions and making housing standards uniform for all dogs. Serpa tells us she plans on following up with the appropriate people once the General Assembly reconvenes on Tuesday. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.